चलो मेरा चलो मेरा I speak to you this night. I command you, Philomena. You shall obey me. You do not dare me, Peggy. I will show you that we own the city. Philomena, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You can hear me. Good. Let this affect you. Let it affect you. <clears throat> Now, go! Get up, get up, get up, get up and leave my house this minute before I start screaming. Just go! Don't let me shout. Just leave my house this minute. What is it now? Go. Go, 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 go. This is it, right? Yes. This is it. Yes. You and I are finally over. It is over. Jesus Christ, I can't even believe it. We are over. Remember me? I've seen the face. One of the ladies that had a fight with your ex-girlfriend. You're cute. So, what are you doing all alone by this time of the night? Why did you even refer to her as my ex-girlfriend? What are you doing here all alone this night? Get in the car. What? Wow. Your girlfriend was right. She even bragged to us that she could wake up in the middle of the night and chase you out of her house. You wouldn't even go with any other woman because you love her so much. Even when she treats you as a slave. Well, she was right, because all I see is a slave. Wait, Philomena said that? Yes, she did. What will I be doing here by this time of the night waiting for you? My love next is what next. It's a young man, it's a
Maduka. Oh, oh my God. How long have I been asleep for? What did you do to me? I drugged you, baby. No, you did not. Yes, I did. That's your glass over there. And I must say, your firepower is on point. No, we did not. Honestly, we did. The moment I picked you up yesterday, I wanted to feel your firepower. And I did. Is what? Can't we get to work? Blood of Egypt, blood of love, come and cut the darkness. Blood of Egypt, Zidabu, Zidabu. You don't need to be bothered. This way you will see are your friends. The one you call an enemy is the one they call enemy. Come. Come and meet your friends. Our friends? The enemy of your enemy is your friend. No! Philomena is the common enemy. She is an enemy to you, Erika. And you are the lad. You, Simbi. You, Camilla. And you, Peggy. So, what do we do to strike her down? We must unite as a common force and fight her. We must fight her both spiritually and physically. We must not handle her softly. We must not relent because she had fortified herself with the powers of a powerful wizard. But I am eager. I will stop her. <laughs> but before I do what I do to bring her to her knees, I will ask all of you, you. Can you all win the sum of 20 million naira? Erika, can it be done? It can be done. Adelaide, can it be done? It can be done. You, Simi, can it be done? It can be done. You, Pamela. It can be done. You, Peggy. Can it be done? Nice one, it can be done. Okay.
<laughs> there is a way in which you are excited. It's like you hear something. Is it not? No, my body is just doing me as if I'm going to hear good news. So it's not. I didn't hear anything, no. Anyhow, this is the key to your new car. Eh? Me what type of car you will be fine. <laughs> come now, come, come on to me. Come, come on to me. <laughs> yeah, baby, hey, come on. Hey, 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 oh, oh, hey, hey, oh, 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 hey, <laughs> Hey, mama. Hey, 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 Mella. Hey, Mella. Come on to me. Come on to daddy. Come on. I bought with my heart and girl, she's in fair. What? What did this to your car? Huh? What did you do to them? What is this? Why? Why? Jealousy, jealousy, I tell you, jealousy. Did, did you see them? Did anyone see them? What is this? Her name is Erika. Erica, Erica. Whoever might have done this should be arrested and detained immediately. Tell it, sir. Get the police involved. I will personally call the state CP. Okay? What? Oh my dear. Don't you cry. Wipe your tears. Don't cry. No? Look, I'm going to write out a check for you. Tomorrow, the first thing, uh, we get this car. You know, I'll do it for you. Anything. Madam, you have already contacted him. 
and he is still not here. We don't have all the time to waste. Hey. Get into the car. W wait now, wait. Uh, 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 please, move please. Uh. Yes, my husband is here. So they've come to arrest you already. I was coming to do that myself. Do you know much about that car? Do you? Excuse me? What you sow, you reap. That is all I have to say to you. You break the law, you face the consequences. Is, is that my husband talking? Okay? Then who do you think is talking? Okay? It is me, your husband. Okay, man. Say and do. Uh, come, come, come. Uh, take it, take it away. George. Don't worry, let them go. Go with them. I will come and bail you later. But you, you must get there first. First of all, you must get there. Take it away! Justin. Officers, Justin. Take, take her to the vehicle. Take her to the vehicle. Justin! Take her to the vehicle. Justin! Take her to the vehicle. Justin! One day, one day, you must sleep there for one day. All to have a long boogie. One day, you get she go down and eat I will come and bail you after. Take that away, Marcos. Marcos. Come come and give me one day. Come and give me. this girlfriend who he is protecting by all means and for her sake your best friend was arrested and detained right exactly well madam I am sorry my husband is a godly and religious man he knows God and anybody who knows God does not behave like that Lady Veronica, we all respect you in this town. If not for anything, for the way you carry yourself, you do not mix with us, you do keep to yourself, and you don't get involved in little, little nonsense other women do in this town. So, due to this respect, ma'am, I don't think I can come here to be talking nonsense. I have better things to do. All I beg of you now is to please drive down to your husband's guest house now and you will see something my husband has a guest house oh so you didn't know that's a lie well i'm sorry i don't know how to convince you father i've tried my best but uh, here's my card you can please call me. This is my direct line. Call me anytime you want to meet with me. At a place of your choice. I'll come with the other women involved in this. Then you listen to their stories and hear what our husbands do in this town. And you also get to know how these women fight back. What they do to fight back. Have a wonderful day, ma'am.
Your phone is ringing. Really? That place is so quiet. There are no voices. Moreover, you don't usually take your calls when you're in a meeting. Rather, you send texts. Mm. Hello? What? How did you say? Hello? Never mind. I'll see you when you get back. for so long. Eh? I know I screwed up. I'm sorry, you know I love you. Now you're silent. Maduka, are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Maduka. Where are you? Where do you think I'll be? Okay, at a friend's house. I don't know. Maybe just try. Oh. Okay, you, you know, I was just in one of my crazy moods, right? Maduka, you're not talking. Where are you? I'm at home. Uh, I'm just waking up. I was waiting for you all night. I waited so long and then you don't show up. Why are you just waking up? Why are you even asking? You threw me out the other day and now you're calling me to ask me silly questions. I knew you were angry and I needed for you to calm down. Because I knew you were not willing to listen to any of my explanation. Maduka, why are you just waking up? I don't know. I don't have answer to that question. Hey, listen to me. Philomena, or whatever you call yourself. Why are you hiding him? Asking him, where are you? Where are you? Who is this? He's with me in my hotel room and he is very well taken care of. Who is this person? Well, my name is Peggy and what would you do about that? Infection. I had a swamp done 
four days ago. So where is the infection coming from? How can I answer that, madam? You should. You're his personal physician, auntie. Yes, madam, by every means. So tell me. Does Bob have chlamydia? Don't just sit there mopping at me like a fool. He comes back home, he talks about God, he reads the Bible all the time, yet he goes out there and, and sleeps with other women. My husband is seeing other women. That's not to my knowledge, madam. With due respect. Liar. So, where did the infection come from? From the wind? When you say there are toilet infections. Uh, Don't give me that. It is sex. I went to school. I am not dumb. me to smile? Do you expect me to laugh? Please, madam, I can start your treatment now. In one week, you will be fine. Just a few shots of rosephine. Ah! Oh. Somebody has to pay for this shit. Please take it easy. Ah, oh, come on. Who is this Philomena we all are losing our sleep over? Can she be stopped? If you ladies cannot stop her, I will personally stop her. Um, first of all, uh, let me introduce Maggie to you all. I met her yesterday at Philomena's house when I went to spy on Erica's husband to see if he was there. So to cut the long story short, we got talking and I discovered that she's into what we are doing too. She's watching her husband, Honorable Douglas Odogo. Women. Ladies, Philomena is not alone. She has other girls she pimps for our men out there. The problem is not to stop Philomena. The problem is to keep this man in check and under control. Yes. And some things are done in a certain way. And certain things are not done physically. You have to do them the proper way. Yes. If you all agree with me. Exactly. We need to stand together. We are now friends brought together by this common enemy called Philomena. Exactly. Ah, oh, come on, please. Oh, please, please, please. Enough of all this long story. Come on. There's a little thing to handle. Let's make her blind. But let's get the, uh, some boys out there, pay them good money. Ask them to get the freaking eyes of that score. That's all. Tell me now, mom. And you think she will know? That girl is being backed by powerful spiritual forces. She's not walking empty-handed. If you ask me, I don't know how strong he get is. I don't know. I don't think he's that strong. No, he get is trying. He's truly trying. At least I got that her boyfriend, that her sweet handsome boyfriend that is making her head puff. Yes. <laughs> that one is paining her so much. I'm so happy. Uh, please, please. Uh, I, I don't understand what you people are talking about. Everything you're saying is about Juju. And I... Uh, I cannot be a part of it though. Uh, I'm sorry, madam. You must be a part of this. Ah. Yes, that's why I invited all these women when you called for the meeting. I'll help you all to put your men under control. You control their lives, money, time, everything. And any lady, any girl whatsoever that rears her head, you crush that head. <laughs> all this, and you still have your mango juices in your lives. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Please, what is mango juice? Oh. Oh. Chimeke. Oh. You, you don't know? Oh. Mm. Our sweet, sweet young boyfriend. Yes. What? Hey, hey, hey. Madam Veronica, mm -hmm. you better go and find yourself one boyfriend. Unless the person will kill you. Hey, 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 please. We are digressing. Do you have a boyfriend, if I may ask? Not yet, but... I intend to get one. 
Ekweme watched them take me away and lock me up while he moped sheepishly. <sighs> if not for Lady Veronica here and her good offices, where would I be by now? Well, have we all decided to put our men in control? Yes. Yes, 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 yes we've agreed. We have. I have already. Okay, good. Then I'll think of the best way to tackle this. Uh, excuse me. Please, where is your husband? I'm a widow. Um, don't listen to what they're saying out there that I killed my husband. I did not kill him. I only poisoned him small. But he didn't die then. He later died out of natural causes. He didn't die because I poisoned him. So back to what we were saying. I'm a widow and I have <clears throat> the interest of everybody at heart. So let's plan. Bob is throwing a party next week. That makes it one week approximately from tonight. Everybody must look good. It's a masked party. You will dance with whoever you want to dance with. You will go with whoever you want to go with. And you will fuck whoever you want to fuck. You won't really see their faces because everybody will be disguised. The fun will be in unveiling the face of the man you end up sleeping with that night. I have invited many girls and men of good standing in the side from Abuja, Lagos, and London. And they've all promised me that they'll be here. This party is strictly by invitation. When you get there, you will feel free. There will be no refrafts allowed on the premises. No, there shall be no thanks for coming brown envelopes. The thank yous shall be in your ability to get the men to sign those checks in your name. I'm not asking you to go there and get an orgasm. I don't care when last you had one. Bring back the checks. Some people say, that sleeping with a successful man will not make you successful. They say that success is not sexually transmitted. I, Philomena, say that is a big fat lie. You have this and you have that. then you have the world and you will rule the world. Use advice. If you have any problem with any of those men's wives, hmm. you know who to call, right? You call boss lady. I am up to the task. And yes, I have my ways. I don't talk my own. Name. Life now war. Who die? Now he knows.
has told my baby. Yes, I'm on Oko Road, Oko Road. <laughs> yes, somewhere at Oko Road, Oko Road, that, that bush part. Yeah, the Link Road. Come through the stadium, the stadium. What is it now? What is it? Maybe he thinks we're joking. <laughs> Don't mind this. My friend will be monitoring you for a while now. Waiting for an opportunity like this for you to get into a lonely road like this one. Exactly. Hmm? So you have a choice. You either come down and we will teach you just a little lesson like this. Yep. Or you stay right there and we set fire to this car. And you steal in it. The choice is yours. Portugal, lighter. Petrol, bring lighter. Hey, it's right. come down. Are you coming down? Don't touch him, don't touch him. This is fine. It's too my pick. Let him leave him there. What no, no, did no. I do now? Just go. Uh, you're driving to somewhere. Just continue. Don't, just, don't touch him. No, 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 no. no. Okay, yeah, just, just go. See, see, drop go, 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 go. No, 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 we didn't. We don't beat people. No. What did I do to you even now? What did you now? What did I do to you even now? What did you do to her? Who? To who? Maybe you got some medicine um, to make her love you. Dad, forget about me. <laughs> you should be asking the lady this question, not me. Exactly. <laughs> he answered very well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What is this? No, 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 and let this be the very last time any of you will try this nonsense. If any of you tries this nonsense next time, I am going to seek the consent of his girlfriend. Then I will kill that person. Don't ask me how I'm going to kill the person because I have my ways. And be rest assured that that person will be replaced by his lady friend. Peggy, mommy, why are you taking sides? Peggy, it's me, decline. It's me. I'm sorry. Get this person out from here! Madika, get it to your car. Thank you, Peggy. What did I do okay. to you, Peggy? I've had enough of you. I am fed up. Get in the car. If you try this nonsense next time, I will personally kill you. Peggy, please, come with me. Be warned. Come with he me. has collected my mobile glasses. What? <laughs> Give it to me. Give it to me now! Move this person out on the way! where he cannot dream of entering. This is like what? <laughs> Never mind that. So tell me, this Philomena, what kind of person is she? I mean, is she strange? Weird in some sort? No one I can think of. I'm sorry, sorry darling. Sorry. Sorry, okay? You'll be alright. I'm so sorry. I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm sorry. Please just think of something. Like, does she wear anything? Her, in her arms or her wrist or even in her underwear? Well. You mean something like a charm? 
that she leans by her bedside and I remember one day I picked her up to clean for her and she snatched it away from me with a strict warning never to touch it again. But she told me that it's her father's so she uses it to remember him. Get this walking stick for me. Okay. If you get it for me, I am going to give you one million naira to go out there and shop for yourself. Why? It's just a walking stick. A walking stick, isn't it? Get it for Peggy. With all that you said to me. Well, honestly speaking, Peggy hates you so much, and I hate you too, for choosing your ex-boyfriend over me. And you know what? That makes you my friend. Because I hate the one that hates you. You guys can be my friend. Yes. But on one condition. That you will tell me everything that those women do. Why not? They do juju. And we know it. They know we know it. Not so juju. Heavy wounds. These women are vicious. They use you and move to the next young man once they are tired of you. I mean, you see how she don't take care my, my own body. If she can do it to take care, her friends can do it to us. So we just want to be in your camp now against them. And that's all. And you know, to, to add to what he just said, we are ready to tell you all their plans against you. I mean, the ones we know about, isn't it? Absolutely. Because we thought about everything carefully before we decided to come and meet you. Really? Sure. You guys are cool, though. There's one big one this Friday night, and it's for the big boys. You would have to get expensive costume though. And I can pass you off like uh, traders, international traders. You mean like uh, tycoons? I mean we're in. And there are loads of chicks. Do you have girlfriends? Oh yeah, for oh, yeah. Did they let us have girlfriends? They didn't let us have girlfriends. I mean, they wouldn't even let us look at female clothes hanging on the clothesline. So please, I beg you, where is this party? It's at Senator Bob's guest house. I invited all of them. All those women's husbands will be there. You see me here. I know the joke and the play out. I want you all to come and see how I operate, how I run things. What are they planning against you? Oh, my God. Tell me you've come back to me. Back? And who are these? What are they doing here? They are my new friends. This 
Listen boys. This is my girlfriend's house. And I'm bound to her. In case you're thinking of something stupid. She'll protect me. Ten times even more than your Peggy did. I guess you know what that means. Now, I want you guys to get out of here. Now. He's the man of the house. I really cannot say no to whatever he says. No. He's the love of my life. But you can still come for the party. What party? I'll tell you about it later. No, you, you and you. Bounce. I was wondering, did you miss me? Let me go show you how much I miss you. <laughs> Young man, where are we going? Ate Zumezu! Ate Zumezu! I cannot be stolen! I cannot be stolen! Look!
Still a bachelor, Dr. Groot. Well, madam, I've not found the right person. So you're indoors alone. I'm alone too. The senator is not at home. I'm sure he's with one of his girls. Madam, please calm down. Please don't cry, please. Why won't I cry? <sighs> Dr. Great. Yes, madam. Can you make me feel good? I'm coming over to see you. And I'm driving myself. Henceforth, you are my eyes. I want to know my husband's every move. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Text me your account details so that I can pay in 10 million naira for your shopping. <laughs> 